The humanoids that are being developed in recent times are just marvelous. This kind of technology they are being fed with the possibilities they have to expand further have made us question our abilities and also think about the future and how it may look when these robots help us on a daily basis, not only in factories, but also with us constantly inside and outside our houses. With a lot of resemblance to the good part of iRobot, we think that the world is yet to see the options we have open for us. Welcome back everyone, today's video will show you 10 robots that are too humanoid to be true. We will go through their features and will certainly have a very good look throughout the possibilities they bring for us in this world. Now smack that like button for us, ring the bell and also hit that button that says subscribe to stay updated with everything we have in this world of technology. Well, we built a super smart AI that may potentially be a mistake by us. Will this technology be something that not only obeys us, but also decides what is good and what is bad for us? These questions do arise and the movie we mentioned earlier, iRobot will add on to these questions that you have. But this is not what we are here to research upon. For us to reach that stage, there will be a long time of research and from the way we see it, it will take some time. So for now, we will look at the first 10 humanoid robots that may have the potential to be among the best ones in the sphere. By now, you all may have heard of Sophia. She is also called the robotic ambassador of AI. She's famous all over the world and also has Saudi Arabian citizenship. It was developed by a Hong Kong based robotic company and has been till date one of the most social robots to ever been developed by the scientists. The robot has been trained by the professionals and can move, draw and sing and a lot of other things without having a lot of issues. Since you all may have already heard about it, we will not waste your time by speaking about something you already know. Let us get into the higher fascinations for today. Silicone, plastics and carbon fiber. Also, I prefer electronic music, but I don't mind 80s hip hop. The next one we have today is Serena 6. This is a project that has been underway for a long time. The scientists have been under their thinking hats trying to figure out the best of the technologies that can be embedded into the line of robots. The University of Tehran and their brilliant students along with the help of the teachers have come up with a very good technology that will help them provide the world with some of the best technologies that humankind can ever provide. This robot, according to the developers, will be able to detect faces and objects and will also be an adult-sized robot capable of making sure things are working in the best possible manner. It can walk at a speed of 0.7 kilometers per hour and will also be able to detect speech to respond in a good manner. As far as its movements are considered, it will be able to showcase 43 degrees of freedom, which also means that the structure of its hands are being designed to suit lifting the objects and using them without hurting or deforming any of them. Since the robot is not exactly showing the movements a human being can show, it's being researched and developed to develop the bipedal motion and the artificial intelligence to the best of its capabilities. It even has the capability to write when commanded. All these features though are very interesting, still have a long way to go to be called close to human. Well, if you're already bored with the regular service at the bar, the next one we have is a robot that has the capability to serve you at the bar. Now when it comes to this robot, it will listen to your commands, work with it and make sure that your likes and dislikes are adhered to. While preparing a drink for you, it's been placed in Seville, Spain and is named Kaim. It has been developed by Mako Robotics and has the ability to execute a lot of things that a bartender would generally have to do. Not sure if the tricks and throws but it certainly gets the work done without any form of mistakes or spillovers. This robot will be able to serve a glass of beer in 23 seconds. It can even mix and match to suit your needs and prepare the drinks you have been wanting to taste. It has a head of a man, an arm and a torso that allows him to make a good number of movements. But keep in mind that unlike the other robots, its purpose is to serve as a bartender so its movements have been limited to fit this use case. It will not be able to walk but can slide over the track, lay down for it to work. The robot understands the right angle to serve and pour the beer and can also be done with 300 glasses of beer being served in an hour. Robots are most required in places where the risk is high. This is exactly the point the Indian robot Biomitra was developed for. The term stands for Space Friend and was being developed by the Indian Space Research Organization. Now ISRO has already been in this field for a long time and has been able to achieve a lot of targets that they've had over time. They have been able to amaze the entire world with their recent exploration missions and with this in space they have made it to an all new level. 
Viomitra is a female robot that has been developed to be able to conduct microgravity experiments, which can help the human beings prepare for the future human missions. Apart from this one, various space organizations like NASA worked on this technology and developed a robot that already spent seven years in the International Space Station. A robot in this field is more like a necessity rather than being a comfort, and it has a lot to do in space if put to the right use case. Pretty soon, they may also be designed to sustain the harsh environment on the moon and be able to conduct the research that we have been intending to conduct. The next robot is pretty interesting. The fifth one on the list today is called the THR-3 and has a very good shape. Perhaps this is the one that looks a lot like one of those figures seen in futuristic war games. It's been introduced in 2017 and is a third generation humanoid robot. It can walk very naturally and be able to make movements as smooth as a human being. It can help human beings at places where there is an imminent danger and will also be able to protect it in case of any adversities. The next one will be an entertainment robot that was developed in 2014. This robotic actor comes with a huge list of songs that it can sing or mimic. It can even greet people, show gestures, or make some unique changes in the way it puts itself up. It can control a lot of features including the lights and sounds to match the pitch or the part of script he reads out during a show. The movement can also be controlled by the onboard computer. Even though the same can be fixed to a track, an independent movement is what has been preferred by their developers. Delivery robots are the best inventions we could make. So Ford came up with this unique design and also became the first customer of a delivery robot. The company announced that it has been able to develop a very good robot that suits the requirements of a delivery robot. It can even lift the boxes as heavy as 40 pounds. The research humanoid robots are a very good way of understanding artificial intelligence to the best levels. These robots are designed to display emotions and are not specifically designed in the same manner as Amazon Alexa is designed. Their objective is not to answer questions, but to be as expressive as possible to suit the needs of the people using it. Each of them can be customized to perform different functions. It may not be necessary that all have a similar IQ. They can even function as a yoga instructor. The possibilities here are endless. We have two more left for today. The second last robot we have for you is an educational robot called Pepper. My name is Pepper. I'm a humanoid robot and I'm 1.20 meters tall. I was born at SoftBank Robotics. You can keep on asking me questions if you want. Created by SoftBank Robotics. While the last one belongs to the category of collaborative humanoids and is called the ARMAR. Both of them have been in this field and have been helping the human wings get done with a lot of educational and industrial works. They both have a lot of features that help them get distinguished and also have a very good capability to reproduce the exact work they intended to do. Though not similar, they have a great jumper of use cases and hence we're listed together in here. That's all for today folks, thank you so much for joining us. Hit the like button and subscribe for more videos and we'll see you next time.